What is up guys? Arias and I are at one of the local archery ranges and there's an awesome native plant that I just want to talk about real quick growing right next to us. This is a really special native California oak called Quercus lobata and you can see why it's called Quercus lobata. Lobata meaning heavily lobed. That is because these leaves are heavily lobed. Quercus lobatas are actually struggling and not regenerating very well in California. Um, and because of that, by the time, uh, you know, our little ones are grown-ups, essentially their, the valley oak species might actually be endangered or near extinction. So kind of an alarming thing just because this is a uh, species of oak that grows on the valley floor and it just has so many awesome properties and uh, it offers such a great habitat that so many species depend on. Oaks themselves have so many edible properties. Um, the main one that we're going to talk about is the acorns. And the acorns themselves uh, can be consumed once they are leached. Uh, essentially, there is a certain amount of tannic acid in the acorns. And you can either leach that out through a boiling process or a... Uh, or in a stream. Now for boiling, for example, you take a bunch of raw acorns, crush them up into little tiny pieces, and then uh, boil that in boiling water, making sure to add the acorns to already boiling water and not, to bring, and not bringing them uh, to a boil with the acorns in the pot of water as that can lock the tannic acids in. So uh, you keep doing that and you'll notice as you're boiling the acorns, the the water in the pot will turn red um, and that's how you're leaching out the tannic acid. Typically with oaks you're going to want to do this uh, two to three times. Uh, with white oaks, that's like your uh, blue oak for example and your Quercus lobata valley oak. Um, but red oaks like uh, the coast live oak and live oaks for example, those have more tannic acid in the acorns so you're going to need to leach those quite a bit more um, in order to render those uh, edible. But the cool thing is once you leach out that tannic acid out of the acorns, uh, you can then dry them, crush them up, and make an all-purpose cooking flour that's high in complex carbs, fats, and proteins. And that cooking flour you can make into anything you could imagine, flatbreads, cupcakes, muffins, uh, any survival thing you could pull off. Um, and uh, really an awesome property. Now that leftover tannic acid wash that you have from the boiled pot of water that turns red, you can actually use that as an all-purpose soap. Uh, using it to wash and, con and condition your hair, wash your body as like a body wash. You can also use it um, to wash dishes, uh, wash clothes, and you can use it to wash rashes and minor abrasion, uh, abrasions and scrapes and so forth. So really an awesome all-around plant to know. Oaks are wide distributed, so oaks grow everywhere throughout the northern hemisphere and you can eat the acorns off of all oaks. Uh, so really, really an awesome plant to know. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this newest plant edition. Again, this is Quercus lobata, the valley oak. Stay aware and protect.